So now I'd like to invite Te'ame Rezene to the podium for some closing remarks. Hi, my name is Diamond Rezene, and there are no words to explain how excited and proud I am of myself and my graduates. It's, and it's my pleasure to bring this graduation celebration to a close and say, we made it. I could have never pictured myself being where I am at this moment. And not because I can accomplish it, but because of the lifestyle and the background that I was in. I come from a small village in Eritrea, from a family with a farming background and undeveloped educational system. We used to see Americans riding their shiny dirt bike around the slums. I always imagined what it would be like to be American. We wanted to be American. We pretended to be American. I remember me and my friends walking down all wooden train track pretending to speak English, to speak the language that, excuse me. <laughs> I remember me and my friends walking down all, wood, all wooden train track pretending to speak English, a language we knew nothing about, twisting our tongues to make the sounds that we never heard of. Little did I know my life would be changed on a blink of an eye. After 14 years of struggle, my life was changed. On August 24th, 2004, I started a new life. I moved to the United States. I was forced to learn everything from the ground up. The language, the culture, the people. I had to adapt to everything. We all had to adapt. I can tell you that every single graduate had to adapt and acknowledge one another. Why? Because success comes when we adapt to the environment that we are in, acknowledge one another for who we are and what we can be, when we can be. Winston Churchill once said, a pessimist sees a difficulty in every opportunity. An optimist sees an opportunity in every difficulty. You see, Europe is an opportunity for every single alumni, graduate, intern, and current student. Europe is full of young people finding opportunity every time we encounter a difficult situation. This opportunity was presented to me from my cousin Solomon Wilderfield. And shortly after, I made a year-long commitment a commitment worth fulfilling every day and capturing the opportunity to develop myself and build an experience for my, for my career. Europe was the opportunity that changed my life. And it gave me a reason to be the best and find opportunity within every difficulty. Class six, I want you to take a look to your right and left. What you see there is the next CEO, manager, and millionaire. <laughs> Mr. Delgado, my fellow advisor group, has shown his colleague, success will come. Mr. Fernandez has shown us all to go out there, test your lemon, and get recognized for it. <laughs> don't ever let yourself down from who you can be. And don't think that you don't have to do any more work. Now is the time to work the hardest. Excuse me. Take charges of who you can be. Don't let others decide for you. My fellow class graduate of 2014, we did it. We have come so far in, short, in one short year. Nevertheless, we have a taste of success. And what happens from here and out depends on you. Class six, this is a moment that we will never forget. We won't forget this moment because it's a celebration of our accomplishment. Most importantly, this one-year journey has ensured us if you commit, work hard, and believe in goals and dreams, you can accomplish anything. And I promise you this, this is only the start, the beginning. <laughs> <laughs>